Like, for me, one of the big things was, like, all religions teach about, like, I knew there was bad stuff. My dad was disfellowship. He was an elder. He was immoral. I knew what kind of stuff goes on in the organization. Bad stuff. Yeah. And, and stuff I can't even tell you about. I don't want to know. But, yeah. but it goes on in every organization. Yeah. People think, well, I'm going to leave the organization and, and go over here. Yeah, bad apples. Right. And go over here. But it's the same thing. Yeah, they, yeah. they all have child molesters. Yeah. They all have, you know, immoral people. They all, you, there's nowhere else you can go that way. Yeah. But you have to look past that. Yeah. Because... Your own and personal faith. Well, no. Well, no. your own personal relationship with Jehovah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, but yeah. but like, what? How do you determine where to even start? Like, you're not going to have even if you live ten thousand years, you're not going to have time to look into thirty four thousand different Christian religions. No, I don't right? need to. So how do you how do you yeah. narrow that you down? You have to group them all and say, okay, these all have similar beliefs. Yeah, these all similar beliefs. And evaluate them as a as, yeah. a as a bushel, but but for because me, you can boil down most religions, the tenets of most religions kind of boil down to, to sort of the same peace, the yeah. same seven points or whatever, right? Yeah. They, you can distill them, but the reality was is that, you know, one of the things, there's a couple of things that I kind of realized that I wasn't doing. So, here you are. You're not even even if you distill down like thirty four thousand, and then there's the Muslim, and then the, everybody talks about peace and love. But Jesus said, um, "You will know my true disciples yeah, if you have love among yourself." John mm -hmm. three and thirty five. So what does that mean in a practical way? Mm -hmm. So that kind of narrowed it down. Who doesn't yeah. who doesn't go make converts in another country, mm -hmm. and then in a time of war pray to the same God to go kill those same converts? Yeah. You know, you, nobody. That was my turning point. Me too. Nobody, me too. nobody in service has mm -hmm. been able to answer that. No religious people, yeah. because like, how is it? How can it be that Dad help me kill my brother that's on the other side mm -hmm. of a political fence yeah. that's under Satan's control? Yeah, you know? and they're both Catholic. And they're both Catholics, both Protestants, and they all yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, not all. Uh, Hutterites don't do it. Mennonites do don't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Baha'i don't do it. Jehovah's Witnesses don't do it. Um, and there's a couple of, Quakers. Yeah, so not everybody does it, but that yeah. really narrows down the field. Mm -hmm. So so you you can't have, according to Jesus' determination, he didn't say, well, it depends if you, you know, believe in the Trinity or immortality of the soul or believe there's a guy mm -hmm. in a red suit and a hellfire. You know, it, it's if you have love among yourself. And Jesus said, mm -hmm. well, even love your enemies. Mm -hmm. So who... That kind of narrows down the field a bit, mm -hmm. a lot, and mm -hmm. and then and then there was the the thing is a lot of religions believe they look at these signs. Well, why do why did Christianity? Why were they organized to do what? What were they organized to do? To have bake sales, chicken dinners, bingo bazaars, mm -hmm. to have sit around have tea parties. What were they organized to do? What did Jesus Organize them. That's not a social thing. At, at yeah, church. I mean, I mean, they sit in church too, but that's all they do. They sit there like a turd on a, on a log, right? Mm -hmm. But why were why did Jesus organize his disciples to do what? Take care of widows and orphans. Yeah, that too. But to preach the good news of the kingdom. What was Jesus' message? The good news of the kingdom. And so, mm -hmm. when 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 people say, "Well, yeah, we're near the end," you know. And other religions believe that. They, we're not the only ones who, yeah. who believe well, that, you know, wars and food shortages and, you know, this kind yeah. of stuff. I, then I asked them, well, what about the most important part of that thing? Mm -hmm. This good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited earth. Nobody likes, to, nobody, yeah. not many likes doing this. It's kind of a tough job. But who does it? Like, some people say, oh, we do it. Some but, but nobody. It, but even though they stop now. Like, yeah, they did. I, yeah. I guess the question is, was all of that fulfilled in the first century, or was it not? No. No, it's it, it will be in all the inhabited well, earth. Yeah. And then the wasn't. question is, why did Paul write in Colossians? He said that I preached all creation under heaven. Yeah, for that period of time. But Jesus said they will do works greater than these. Okay. And in, in a long period of time. And in the fulfillment of the prophecy of the time of the end, when Jesus said... When they asked him what what will be your sign, one of the parts of that sign of the time of the end was that global preaching work. 